Did it YouTube, Stephen Harper here. First off, someone asked me how did I make my cell, so I'm going to run through that very quickly. Uh, I went to Heaton's in Ireland and I got this Tupperware box. There's clamp down seal sides on it, so they're nice and handy and it's airtight. So, first off, how do I make my cell? Well, I got the dimensions of the box and worked out what size my plates had to be so they'd sit into the box and be below the water line. So this is my length I came up with. I think it's 22 centimeters by across. I can't remember how deep it is, but it's kind of irrelevant anyway. So uh, I got them engineered or made because I couldn't make them myself. Stainless steel is very heavy to cut through, so they, they got specially guillotined, so they're nice and straight, everything's square. So first off, I got the two centre ones punched out after it was square or rectangle, got them punched out. Then they drilled out the centre here and left it up to me to cut out this side here. So uh, they're a bit like John Harrison's cell where each one is the same. But I can just flip it over to make it one positive, one negative. Uh, next I got stainless steel treaded bar. And that goes through all the plates on this side and then the same on the other, on the bottom. Making one positive, one negative, but neither of them actually touching. I use stainless steel bolts in between each of them. And that locks the treaded bar to each of these. It probably isn't the best way of doing it. It would have been better if I had gotten it treaded, but the lads in the engineering crowd that I got to cut myself, they didn't actually know what I was doing, and it's very hard to explain to them what to do, but anyway, I had to go with this system. So uh, there's my plates. This is a one, another one that I have, and uh, you can see that they can divide like that. So they fit in nice and nice together. Uh, I have I have one meter, one millimeter spacings that I just cut up out of an old spray can. So they fit in between all of them. But for this one here, I'm using Perspex and it's three millimeters across. So the divisions are three millimeter. Ironically, I asked John Air, John Aronson, what his divisions were, and he quote me something in. Uh, inches, had no idea, asked him again to quote it in millimetres and ironically it is 3 millimetres as well. So we're both using the same design and the same spacing, so I didn't know that at the time. Kind of coincidence. Uh, found 1 millimetre doesn't work as the current jumps across. It doesn't actually produce any brands gas or HHO. So it was better to stay from 2 mil up to 3 mil. Any more than 3 mil. Uh, you may need far too much current and far too much voltage to actually make the cell work. So it's even three millimeter is the extreme limit. Better off at two millimeters. Uh, I'm from Ireland, so everything is done in metric system rather than in inches and yards. Uh, for water, was using uh, well water. It had lime in it. It had other impurities. Didn't work very well. So. If anyone has been watching the news, Ireland has been underneath water for the last so many weeks. So there's an endless supply of rain. So this is rainwater, freshly collected. And my electrolyte is uh, bread soda. Oops, bread soda. So uh, I'm going to plug it in and we're going to see. So plugged in. Nearly. There we go. 